Clemente's Hello everybody, welcome back to the hour. channel. My first road race for week 12 the of line. season right, 1, 2022. Laps. Decided Let's to come done. back to the Rookie MX5 series to run a road race, mostly because it's at Laguna Seca, and I have not really gotten to run this very often. It's been a long time since I've done it in an official... Um, I think I might have only done one other race that I recorded, so... It's a fun track. I struggle greatly at it. It's probably one of my worst road tracks, I would say. So just decided to uh, have some fun come out here and uh, try to run it. Probably going to do a few more road races in week 12 than normal. Going to fill up most of the off week with races from the end of week 12. So you'll be seeing those after you know the season was done. But hopefully... Uh, and try to figure something out. My lap times are way off the pace from where I need to be. And realistically, in qualifying, we're probably only going to get the first lap done. I got in a little bit late, so just going to put the best lap I can in the first one. Try to do something to get the car up ahead of most of the people. Got a feeling there's going to be chaos going into turn one like most of them, so if I can try to be in front of most of it, that'll help. I either want to be towards the front or way in the back. Um, but also just gives me a chance to kind of get a little bit of warm-up in, get myself, make sure I got all my braking points, um, so I where I need to be for those, and then in the race to start at least, until we spread out, going to try to back them up, so I don't run into anybody. This should be a fun run, uh, happened to catch the back end of a split, I'm not sure how good of a split it's going to be, but we are car number 12 in the split, so... Happened to be the last car to make it in this split, so in theory, iRacing doesn't expect me to do anything other than finish dead last, which is nice for my side because then if I do anything better than that, that was all a uh, positive win, and if I do worse, I think that's exactly what I was supposed to do. So, this section of the track I would say is probably been my worst. I cannot figure out the turn in points and how much to lift or break in order to try to keep the momentum up and make the most use of the track. This section right here, this corner, I would say I'm really, really slow and some guys are able to attack it far, far harder than I can. Just lose a ton of time through it. Really, I mean, the entire track I'm slow out, but, um, you know, I, I notice more in terms of the Delta, I lose far more time in that, that first half of the track to, to two-thirds than I do this side. certainly not an easy track to run in any form, at least for me, um, and I think on single screen it's tougher to see some of the turning points and apexes when you're when you're going through all the elevation changes, but certainly going to give it the most I can. Not a very good lap. It's going to be probably in the 140s, which is about where I had been running for average. If I drive everything well, I can certainly get to that low 139, and there's no reason why I should be able to get into the 138s if I drive the way I can. I just know how bad I am. Barely under a 140, a only good for 6. It's going to stay out here, keep working through this, especially because this is the section that I need to work on the most. Took it too slow there through 1 and 2, so that's not the combination I want to take next time. This is a corner that I turn in too early and then have to wait way too long to pick up the throttle, but every other time I try to turn in later I end up blowing it and missing the apex by a full lane, which costs me at least two tenths every time, so I just cannot find the happy medium on that. Back to seventh. Maybe we'll get far enough back that I will uh, just be able to be towards the, the back quarter of the field, you know, tenth on back and let everybody go the first lap or two and avoid whatever wrecks happen and then be able to uh, pick up spots that way. So 7th out of 11, um, about a second and a half, just a little under a second and a half off pole sitter. He was about half a second ahead of the one car for second, so if I could drive to my potential, you know, just based on my all-time best left, there's no reason why I can't finish fourth, probably. Just gonna have to do the uh, the best that I can though, and uh, try to make the most of it. Get some paints refreshed. Not 
a ton of guys critted up yet. So where are we on our friends? Our server, so. It's two of us that are from the states, everybody else is all international, which is typically how these fields end up being, especially for the time splits that I run. No big deal. Ten laps here should should go fairly quick. Um it's either going to feel like a really quick sprint if I'm actually running well, or it's going to feel like the longest race ever if I if I don't run well. So, I'm going to try to see if I can finally get a 0x road race in, try to keep it as clean as I can, not overdrive the car. Certainly, like I said, back up braking points, try to stay off of everybody as much as I possibly can, and just try to foresee as many problems occurring in front of me as I can so that I can try to avoid those take advantage of any problems Seventh that happen to pick up free the spots, so... Is 80. The air temp is be getting ready to go here. Okay, Jake, get ready. Still not oh, figured go, out. Go, go. Standing yeah. starts great in these cars. I didn't figure out standing starts in road races in general, but... Not a terrible start. Just gonna stay to the inside. You can see the two-car dives to the inside of the nine. And here's some contact. Just taking it really, really easy through one and two so far. Being on the inside of that turn was great, but it's going to put us on the outside for this turn. Eight kind of checked up. Two's going to dive to our right-hand side. We're going to let him go. He's clearly going to be faster. Just trying to get him by. I was hoping that he would do that, but not cost myself as many spots. So, your start's okay. Unfortunately, not the best start. Um, Probably gave up a spot, it looks like. I got the 7 at the outside trying to push. Able to pull away from him, so gonna slot in line behind the 11. Too wide through that section, it's not very good. You can see the 8 up ahead went too wide. 7's looking pretty aggressive. We'll see if he tries to do anything crazy through the corkscrew. 2 kind of backs out. He goes way to the right hand side. Just gonna stay out and avoid him. Looks like they might have had some problems back there, so that allows us to pull away. Yeah, not a terrible start. Not the best. Certainly not the worst. Was able to avoid contact. Some scary moments get through that as safely as possible. It's just basically all about getting through that first lap and positioning myself to be able to hang with everybody up front. I think I need to slow down a little bit sooner coming into that hairpin. And still in 7th, so didn't actually give up any spots off the start, so I will gladly take that. It's been actually a pretty clean start up front. A little bit of contact, but for the most part everybody's running pretty clean. I'll kind of content to run single file now. I think you'll start to see some speed differences as we progress through the next few laps and that's when the guys will start to make their moves. A really good run through that corner on the two. Not about looking to the inside, just took the corner a little bit slower than he did. And that was the section of the track where I kind of just have to sit behind him unfortunately. Because neither one of these sections are good for passing. Corkscrew is not a good area to pass. That turn is not really a good turn to go through side by side. We got one way off into the gravel. I think that was the seven. Just trying to follow the two as best as I can. See if I can get back away from the nine. Shot the corner a little bit. Feeling like I'm probably faster than the nine, but got to find the right spot to get by him. He loses it off of the hairpin, so there was the right spot. We also picked up the free spot from fifth place, losing it through the hairpin. So two spots right there should put us in the fifth. Still got the nine behind me. He's pushing, but got a feeling I should be quicker than him now that I can kind of run a little bit more towards what I want for laps. Catching up on the 11. 
Not sure if we're faster than him, but possibility of another spot. Just gonna try to do my best to pull away from the 9 as much as I can. See if I close up on the 11, use the draft over the next lap or so. Overshot that corner a little bit. It's gonna allow the 9 to close up big time. Taking that corner too slow anyways, that's a spot where guys are probably going to be gaining a lot of time on me. I haven't decided whether or not I think shifting up this hill is the right move into the corkscrew. I don't think it is, I think I want to stay in third gear and just keep the torque on the motor up rather than uh, potentially bogging it down. But. I could see how if you get the draft or a good run that that shifting would actually benefit you. Overshot that corner, had to wait to pick up the throttle, causes the 11 to pull away. Thankfully it looks like a little bit of battling between the 4 and the 9 behind. 11 has a bit of an issue coming out of the hairpin that I do as well. About half a second up to the 11, half a second to the 9. Three laps down, seven to go. Check up the 11. Took that corner a lot slower than I thought. Try to get to his inside at some point, see if I can get around him. He's certainly gonna... I feel like he's gonna hold us up. Outside here was not the best move, although I'm hoping I can try to outbreak him into the corner. Trying to give him as much room as I can on the right hand side. Again, running side by side into this corner is not the best move. Decided to hold it out there and see if I could make him bail. Looks like he did. Alright, I mean, that was a bit aggressive, but I think I tried to give him as much room reasonably as I could. Like I said, I had to start trying to find a way around him. Not so much that I think I can catch the one up ahead, I think it was more so that I could try to get away from the nine and the four behind. I think if I can drive to my potential, I should, should be able to start pulling away from the 11 over the next lap or so. Three, six, and one are all absolutely gone. They've been way faster, and then of course they've been, you know, fighting through a little bit of traffic. But I, I have nothing for them to begin with. So um, now it's just about driving the best laps I can to try to get away from the 11, the nine, and the four. A little bit of the curb there again. Not quite as good of an okay, Jake, exit as I wanted. Know, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. 11's certainly going to have the advantage in terms of the draft, but and I feel like there's some sections that I'm faster than him in, so should be able to pull away that way. A little bit of a better corner that time, at least compared to my best lap. Trying to maximize whatever time I can gain and see if I can get away. Not very quick through the corkscrew. Certainly a section I need to learn how to run better. I feel like I'm a little bit quicker through this side, at least compared to my lap before. Didn't quite break the way that I wanted to through there, but not terrible. You can see the one and the six are engaged in a battle. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be some contact there that I can try to take advantage of and pick up another spot. Otherwise, not going to be there. About half a tenth in front of the 11 now. Halfway down. Five laps to go. 
all about just keeping it as clean as I can, as smooth as I can. Waiting on the throttle at the right points, not overdriving it. The gap behind has increased to 0.9. Certainly think I have the pace to stay ahead of the 11. It looks like the battle between the 9 and the 4 has subsided. 9's fallen back, so now it's the 4 and the 5 out back. We are pulling away from them. Would love to see if I can get to that 138 optimal lap that it's calling for before the end of the race. Don't think I'll be able to, but I am certainly going to give it my all. Although what I said, you know, before the start of the race based on qualifying pace, I was supposed to be fourth and we're running right about that, so can't be too upset with where I am. And again, is car number 12 to be running fourth? I will gladly take that. Gotten the benefit of a couple spots from people wrecking, but it's not like the entire field is wrecked and, you know, that's how I've gotten my spots. Not quite get through the hairpin as well as I wanted. Lost just a little bit of time. Lap will still be faster. About a second up on the 11 now. Just gotta keep running the laps like that and I should be able to stay in front of him. Sector 3 is 0 0.38. Off the pace. Not quite as good of a 1 and 2. Not horrific. A little bit better at that time through the gap in front is that turn. 6.4 seconds. Push a little wide, I had to lift to make sure I didn't get off track. Looks like the 4 is going to start pressuring the 11. Hopefully they get into a heated battle and that allows me to pull away, especially considering I've not driven this lap very well. I've given up a couple tenths already to the 11. Attack the curb a little too hard there. I was worried that it was going to just upset the car and shoot it too far out to the right. Really, really close to an off track. I just cut that way, way too sharp. Shoot this corner of this lap is just falling apart bad. I'm lucky enough that the 11 has made some mistakes behind. Go from running one of my best laps of the race to probably one of my worst. The fact that I was able to keep as much pace as I was with the 11, I'm pretty happy with that. Force pulled away big time from the 5, so really it would be a two-car battle if I were to uh, lose this spot. Goals to just not make that many mistakes and be able to retain this spot, but certainly making it tougher when I drive corners like that. A little too much of the curve, get the car loose, able to save it. Big, big time problem. Push now. The guy behind is catching. Just gotta make sure I don't hit the curve quite that hard and upset it. You can see how much that allowed the 11 to close up. He's pulled up away from the, or excuse me, the 4 is able to clear the 11, so he's the one closing up on us now. Expect him to be a lot faster, but I'm, you know, almost a second off of my best lap, so um, yeah, we could still be faster than the four. I just gotta make sure I don't clip the curb quite that much. It's got a focus two to go next time by. It's all about running clean laps. If I do that, I should still be in a position to be able to hold off of the uh, 11 and the 4. The 4 is going to look like he was diving it in. It scared me up. I drove it too hard. Unfortunately, got the first incident point for the race. That's on me. and the four get side by side out of the hairpin. Hopefully they're going to battle side by side. We can pull away. Lost all the time to the six and the one up ahead. It's all about just protecting fourth and not making any more mistakes. Fortunately with me 
being too worried about the four behind, I ruined my shot at the zero X. But if I can get out of this with the one X, that'll be for me a pretty good road race. A little bit of the curb and able to wait on the throttle and not lose too much time by that. It's able to keep the car from getting too upset. Able to pull away quite a bit now from the 11 4. The 11 was actually able to get back by the 4. I can keep this gap right around a second. I'll be pretty happy with that for the last lap and a half or so. A terrible lap, certainly. Obviously, not my best sections that I've messed up, but it's just run into, you know, a reasonable potential. But the gap behind is now 1.0 seconds. Still overshooting that corner. You can see it's costing me about a tenth and a half. Almost picked up the throttle too early. Had to lift there just to keep it from going off the track. On this bite, you get the white flag. Able to pick up about two tenths or so on the 11. See if he continues to battle the four. Because if he has to drive defensively against the four, that's going to allow me to pull away. Certainly not attacking it as hard as I was earlier. I think it's a combination of, you know, tires losing the grip and then I'm just trying to run it a little more conservatively to keep myself in front of the 11 and the 4. I'd rather give up time off my best lap and still be able to run fourth cleanly than uh, risk losing that just to try to run a personal lap time. It's not going to gain me anything up front. Well, somehow. The six and the one just absolutely take each other out and have to tow, but I don't think that's going to happen. A bit too much of the curb there. You can see the four kind of did the, or the other one did the same thing. Four was able to get back by the 11. Four is definitely catching us. We'll see if he has enough time. Six to two is 0.7 off the pace. We think P3's gone off in rainy curve. Their place. Oh, he did have a problem. The one. Don't think we'll be able to get there to get third, but that's going to make that gap far closer than I thought it would be. So if we wouldn't have had the issue the one lap when I torched everything, could have possibly had a shot at third place, but going to bring it home in fourth. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, Felt like flag. that was a pretty good race for me, aside from that one lap trying to get away from the four and making the problem. The well done. Orkham's flying on through, not sure what he's doing there. Just gonna park it right here, we'll get out. Yeah, overall, I mean, not a not a bad race really for the most part. Um, one incident point, unfortunately, but you know, pretty happy to uh, have started seventh, finished fourth. I think we, well, really I think the 11 was the only one we passed on speed, everybody else was uh, off tracks that I got by, but certainly not not something I was upset with. Just that one, one off track, tried to keep it as clean as I could. I will get to the elusive 0x at some point in time, but for me, for the rookie race for Laguna, not, not a bad run at all. Give it a few minutes and uh, let everybody else finish up. Looks like everybody is done, so the results should be live. I think if I read that correctly, it said everybody finished on the lead lap, which uh, I can't remember the last time I had a rookie race that everybody did that. Let's see if that's actually the case. Uh, results are not quite live yet. So um, let's take a look at my pass on the 11 and see what I thought of that one. Okay, so it was this lap. Catching him. I think 
that was nine behind. So I was definitely feeling like I was quicker than the 11 at this point. Got myself, this was probably not the best move. I don't think I made contact with him. Um, got the run here. Stayed behind him. Was able to turn him a little bit better. Had the lift to avoid him and then went to the inside here. This was probably not the smartest move. Probably should have sat behind him and then tried to uh, dive to his inside or cut underneath him. You know, Apex a little bit earlier. So we went side by side through that corner. I tried to give him as much room as I could to make sure we didn't make contact. And same thing here. Yeah, he kind of backed out. I don't think I really... Uh, don't think I really did anything, you know, harmful. Um, I was on the brakes. was trying to give him this inside lane here. Probably should have given him a bit more room. You know, kind of cut it in and then really try to stay like a car width out if I could. Probably pinched him a little bit, but I think he recognized that one of us was going to have to back out. And uh, thankfully he decided to be the one to back out and play chicken. So, worked out a little better. Probably a bit too aggressive. Um, I just, again, off that one corner, should have sat behind him and found a, a better way to get around him, but not terrible. Um, you know, didn't really shove him off the track or anything like that. So let's see if the results are live now. And they are. So pretty weak strength of field. It was sixth out of 20, 14, 29 overall. Obviously compared to me, it was a stronger field. Yeah, everybody did finish on the lead lap. Wow. Um, somehow nobody finished it without any incident points there was three of us that had one uh for off tracks so um but that's still i mean i know a lot of times are pretty long but i can't remember the last time i ran a rookie race that not one car was a lap down that's uh it's pretty cool um let's see it was about three quarters of a second off the fastest lap so feel pretty good about that obviously still got a ton to learn about driving this car and at that track uh like i said i feel like laguna sick is one of my worst tracks as a whole uh, for road racing just wanted to do it to have some fun and uh try to close out rookie season for for this year um on a, on a good note so definitely a lot of fun glad i was able to get a fourth place finish able to pick up 42 i rating points so just under 1450 and 0.12 on the safety so up to 2.28 gonna see if i can get that above 3.0 by the end of the week and hopefully be able to set myself up for a promotion to be to start uh, season two in case I want to run some GT3 stuff or, or something different. So feel free to leave any feedback, any driving tips you guys have, um, how you set up passes here. And uh, just love to hear from you guys in general. So hopefully you enjoyed that one and look forward for more races. And until the next one, I hope your laps are fast, your races are clean and your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.